Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of Trails We Hike. Uh, we were actually tagged with the hiker tag a couple weeks ago by uh, that hiking guy. So if you haven't checked out his channel, do so. So I think we just, uh, just jump right in, yeah? I'm Jim. I'm Jeremy. And together we're Trails We Hike. So uh, we've been friends for a long time, quite a long time, over 20 years or so. So uh, yeah, we started this YouTube channel in November and uh, yeah. I've been hiking off and on most of, uh, most of my life. Yeah, yeah, I actually haven't. I started, I hiked around a little bit. We have a family cabin in Utah. I'd say I actually started hiking just a handful of years ago, probably, probably about five, six years ago. The answer now is yes, just started. Just started with this uh, with this channel, so it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, and I've backed, backed um, a few times um, a few times over the last uh, number of years, mostly longer day hikes for the both of us, but yeah, yeah occasionally we'll stay overnight a night or two. Um, yeah, so backpack when I can, but day hike at least once every two weeks. I need trail for me. Well, Jeremy thinks on it. I'll break out mine, because I can't prepare. First, I have the Tonka jerky bars or buffalo bars with uh, dried cranberries inside. Awesome, awesome, I love these things. And then these crowbar meal bars. Not for amateurs. <laughs> so they are this at home. They are only for professionals, that is true. The whole berry blast. I haven't tried all of these. I did try the uh, the chocolate one. I, I wasn't the biggest fan. It was okay, but I really, really like this bar. You know, I'm not much of a foodie. I think my favorite is whatever Jim brought. <laughs> on the hike. Um, when we're backpacking, Jim usually brings like lamb chops, yeah, potatoes. Um, yeah, he really goes right. with, yeah, he goes above and beyond when we, when we go You're overnight. Right. But yeah, day trips, I mean, I like just little fruit snacks, beef jerky, and pretty simple. I'm more into the, the meal after the hike. What's the next right. question? All right, question five. Probably about 24 miles. Um, for a lot of people probably watching, they're like 24 miles. <laughs> That's like when you park far away at the mall. <laughs> um, no, I, I did the uh, with a buddy of mine named Eric. He's joined us on a couple of videos. We did the uh, Santa Cruz Beach, uh, Waddell Beach, all the way up to Big Basin. Nice. Um, we did part of it on our bikes and then locked them up and then hiked the rest of the way. So probably around 24 miles would be my my longest single adventure. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, my, my longest, I believe, I did a hike when I was 16, 17 in the Uintas, where, where my cabin is. Uh, I don't know the, the exact mileage, but I don't think it was longer than our uh, Lake Ivantic hike. I think that's my longest to date. Uh, it's about 11 miles or so. Uh, for me, hands down, it's the trail to Yellow Lake uh, at, in the high Uintas by my cabin. I've done that. Every day, at least once a day, I hike when I'm out there to Yellow Lake and hike around the lake and back. So any kind of local hikes would probably would be Sonol. I think Sonol is a regional wilderness. I've done that one a handful of times. It's really nice. I'm really close to Castle Rock. We've done a lot of you know, bouldering and hiking and even some top rope climbing there. But it's local. I would say beyond the, the local spots, uh, the Mist Trail here uh, in Yosemite. I've done the Mist Trail, I don't even know, seven, eight times in my life probably. Uh, I hit at least once a year, um, sometimes twice a year. Usually just bring new people, it's the hike you want to kind of show off Yosemite with. So, the Mist Trail. Nice, awesome. So, a little different question, I think. Uh, a lot of times I think it's, you know, solo hikers, like, where do you want to go? I think if the trails we hike, we might have different answers. I'm not really sure how to answer that one. Huh? Start with our own, at least I know I have three. Do it. Ready I to like go. It. So, I like it. John Muir Trail. It's, it's local. It's three weeks, so it's, it's an epic, but it's not six months of your life. Um, I'd like to do the Wind River route. Um, this is less a trail and more of a route, kind of like the Sierra High Route, but it's in um, the uh, Wind River Range in Wyoming. And then the third would be the Wonderland Trail. This is a trail that goes all the way around Mount Rainier um, up in Washington. I just have heard a lot, read a lot, seen a lot of good things, and I kind of like the idea of going around a mountain for once instead of up it. <laughs> so that'd be yeah, my three. I like it. That's a good list. That's a good list. I don't know if I, I don't know if I can do that. Well, one st the staircase here. I'd like to do that staircase hike here. Um, there's also a hike in the High Uintas, oddly enough, um, where it starts where we started by Bald Mountain. 
and it actually goes all the way back to my cabin, and that's about a week or so, uh, high, about five days or so. So yeah, that'd be gorgeous. So that'd, that'd be two. Um, Crater Lake. I'd really like to go to Crater Lake up in uh, Oregon. That looks just gorgeous every time I see anything around that. Um, so I think I'd hike up there. I think it'd probably be my three. I, don't know, I think I've always been kind of a map and compass kind of person. I think uh, just the little bit I've done, like I said, does go back a ways in my life and being in Utah. And so I don't think GPS was usually an option at that point. <laughs> so you just go out with people that knew the area and make sure you had a map and a compass. From backpacking, um, I tend not to rely on any kind of electronics at all. Um, but I would add to that list map, compass, and then just general knowledge of the area. You shouldn't go somewhere if you haven't studied that map, if you haven't watched videos, if you haven't read trip reports, especially recently. If you read a trip report from two years ago, you know, the environment may have changed drastically. That's so a good point. I think map, compass, and then just make sure you've done your homework on the area. So if you lost your map and your compass, then you still have enough waypoints and familiarity to have a good chance of getting yourself home. So I'd say don't rely on GPS, but it's a great thing if you want to augment your GPS. Well, obviously. We hike at least every two weeks together, but then on top of that, anybody's really welcome to come with us as long as they know what they're in for. Yeah, Some yeah. people come with us once thinking they know what they're in for and they never come back. Right. Some people come with us and ask to come back, but a lot of times it just works out to timing and logistics. Um, you know, for me, I'll say it's changed quite a bit. Um, it was always isolation. Hands down, 100%, I looked for isolation. Um, starting this YouTube channel has completely changed that for me. I think being part of the uh, hiking community and just being a little bit more involved with other like-minded people has kind of shown me that you know it's 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 not necessarily about the isolation, but just kind of getting away from the hustle and bustle. So I don't know. I think for me, it's changes. That's a little harder to answer. Yes. <laughs> I prefer single track to, to fire road, for instance. Um, I prefer mountains, say, to, to beaches. Um, really open to anything, but yeah, I find myself on single track mountains and. If I can hike through a nice canopy forest in the shade and then <laughs> pop out to some beautiful vistas, a lot like Yosemite, yeah. I think that's what I look for. So really, Yosemite is the perfect model for the kind of hike I look for. Yeah, I think that's well said. I like that. Yeah. All right, All right guys. Let's, do it. let's get back on the trail. Let's do it.